First of all, thank you for, for inviting me. And uh, I, I would like to begin by contextualizing how uh, this special session has been organized. Uh, it is mainly due to a fundamental intuition um, coming from the Executive Secretary of the Economic Commission of Africa, for Africa, Mr. Jani, who sensed in our last APF meeting that the climate change issue had to be thoroughly examined in a special session so that we could uh, uh, get some key political messages based on a certain consensus around uh, the issue of climate change. So mainly this special session of the Africa Partnership Forum will focus on two uh, objectives. Uh, the first one will be to install a sound dialogue between uh, Africa and its partners on the question of climate change, looking at its impact and looking at how to face and respond and manage this impact. And the, sub the second objective will be to reach uh, a certain level of consensus on certain, on key political messages. And these key political messages will feed the negotiation process which will culminate in December in Copenhagen. So we have two key elements, policy dialogue on one hand, and on the second hand, a certain consensus on uh, key political messages. So I, I would like to emphasize on the question of political messages. Well, we technically know what is the amplitude of the impacts of climate change, even though uh, uh, the exhaustive information is impossible to attain. But we technically know how climate change will severely hit certain sectors of our development, and notably agriculture. But we still are worldwide in a situation where uh, the differentiation of the interests leads to uh, differentiated positions. We in Africa are totally convinced that uh, the impact of climate change will be extremely uh, um, uh, harmful to the development process of our continent. So we need to have strong positions internally within the continent and externally in relation with our partners. And um, what do you think um, are the expected outcomes, especially uh, in connection with the Copenhagen summit in addressing and in, uh, in accepting the, um, the position which African uh, heads of state and government are claiming? At the end of the day, uh, the question will be uh, tackled uh, around two main issues. The first issue is the quality of the information we deal with in responding in terms of policies. The second issue is how are we going to implement the policies? In the implementation process of these policies, financial resources are key. So uh, how to finance our policy responses to the consequences of climate change will be a very critical dimension. From the diagnosis which have been made even though our information systems have certain deficit, we uh, know 
which are the policies which have to be put in place. But these policies will require inputs of financial resources at a very high level. So it is uh, absolutely normal, and that message has to be delivered, that those who do not, who do not pollute as much as those who pollute should have the means to respond to the consequences of climate change. So the, the issue of financing will be a critical and key issue. And I hope that on that issue, the political message that will be sent to Copenhagen will collect the necessary consensus among our partners. And uh, do, do you believe, or what, what, what do you think um, is the current African position in defining and reflecting the interest its interest in connection with the climate change? I think the African position is strong. Mm -hmm. uh, the African Ministerial Conference on Environment has been working very hard to delineate the main aspects which are linked to our capacity to respond to the consequences of climate change. Uh, Prime Minister Zenawi uh, will be uh, chairing the African group in terms of negotiation. And you know that uh, he has expressed his interest in this question a long time ago, even before the issue of climate change was really analyzed in its uh, real amplitude. So uh, I think we have uh, the, the, the information which is available.